Welcome to this conversation with John Velasco. This is the first 10 minutes of this conversation. Tune in tomorrow to see the rest. I've been in the entertainment business for a very long time. Uh, I'm from England, which I hope you can tell. Mm -hmm. I moved to America like, uh, God, 30 years ago. I came for two years and I'm still here. But uh, no, and uh, you know, I've been in a whole different, I started with a guy called Jimmy Webb. I wasn't even in the music business. And then uh, he came to town, I was introduced, we made friends and, uh, you know, he's an amazing composer and we had a company together and I worked with him for a few years and we had so many hits because of what he does that, uh, you know, I sort of, people thought I knew what I was doing and I really hadn't got a clue. <laughs> but. Uh, no, so, so that was really my start. And, I, you know, that's why I've really stayed with music and production. Whatever I do, it look, may look like I'm doing a whole bunch of different things. But really, everything is music, whether it's a movie, TV, it's all based from music up. And because uh, anyway, that's the heart of the whole industry. Wherever you go, you need the music. And you know, being a horrible musician myself, where I can play piano with one hand and I play guitar badly. And it's like, so I just love being around people that are really talented. Mm. So sort of live my care through them. So, uh, yeah. and that's it. You know, I've been lucky enough to, you know, be involved in a lot of major acts and uh, run, you know, major companies like United Artists. I came across here with CBS. And uh, so I've had a varied career doing a whole bunch of different things. Um, and it's been a lot of fun. I mean, one thing I did, I, which is probably the best thing in my mind I did, I did the first ever tour of India with the music, uh, with a band, which took me a year living in India to put it all together because it had never been done before. So that was, if you like, the biggest adventure I ever had. <laughs> wow, it sounds like you must have millions of stories. Have you written a book yet? No, people keep saying I should, but you know, it's, it's a lot of the best stories I could never put in there. <laughs> and, and uh, you know, I, I just think it's it's nice and I could, probably wouldn't remember everything. It, it's nice going to festivals and things and I'll meet someone and say, do you remember when? And I remember it, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's so much stuff. You know, I've just been very lucky and done a whole bunch of stuff. I mean, even being in Sweden with ABBA. I mean, that was a fun situation by accident. <laughs> and by so things accident. Like, yeah, I mean, I was the I was my publisher in Sweden was Stig and wonderful guy. And uh, he had this band ABBA and into the Eurovision Song Contest. So I, I signed them and uh, it was funny. We were the only company that didn't bring the band in ahead of the contest even. I just had a video and I showed the video. My party was a press party showing them the video. And uh, it was really funny. I mean, they were in it. We had no clue they would even win it. And I, on the night I remember I was sitting there watching it and actually I was talking to someone behind me and they said, I don't believe you're so far ahead right now. And I, I had no clue. And I turned around and I thought he was joking. And you know, that was obviously the beginning of a lot of fun. And I was lucky enough to travel to Stockholm virtually once a month to sit with Stig and the guys in the studio and hear what they were doing and it was uh, it was a really fun time. That is so neat. And, uh, oh, man. and my looking... mom has loved Ab Abba her whole life. Like uh, it's like the anthem of that from her childhood that's followed her her entire life. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's love. Well, I know a lot of people that feel way. And it, the fun thing is, you never know at that moment what you're really involved in. Mm. Who would know it would go on and on and on. Like a lot of the bands I've been involved with, I see that they're still going today and it's amazing. Some of them you had no clue they would be there. And it, so it's nice, the nice thing looking back, realizing that, yeah, that did happen. So and, uh, you must have this gift of just knowing when people have a secret sauce, that they're just, there's something special about them. I don't know. I mean, I like people basically, and I keep it a very small people that bring me things and my lump of people I really trust get smaller and smaller. And I, a lot of it is luck. It really is. You can mm. work as hard as you like. <clears throat> and it's true. A lot of the bands I've been involved with, it's just totally by luck. It's just being in the right time, meeting the right person at the right minute. And that's what I tell everyone when they're talking about 
hit singles and everything, no matter how much money you put behind an act and how much time you spend, you can't tell what the public's going to do. If you go, everyone would be a hit. It's uh, so you you can do like ninety percent, but that little ten percent of the public public that's who decides really what's going to be a hit. And it's interesting to see how it goes along. I mean, I've seen people become hits that I had no clue they would. So it just shows how clever I am. And I would say, no, that's ridiculous. I mean, years and years ago, when I was running United Artists Music then, it's uh, someone brought me an act with a girl in a, a garbage bag called poly polystyrene. And I sort of laughed. I thought it was a joke. And this guy Falcon is a friend of mine. We're saying, no, no, we're going to make it a big hit. So obviously I turned it down. And she was a big hit. She was like one at the beginning of that punk era thing. So like I say, you, you've got no clue what's going to be here. And in the end, yeah, it was a really fun idea. But, you know, so another thing is don't take yourself too seriously, I think, because it just shows you're going to look at everything. Because that was another thing. The public just loved that polystyrene thing. <laughs> you never know. It, you must have seen so many changes in the music industry over the years. Yeah, it's interesting. It's really like the song, the big wheel keeps on turning, though, you know, and I think, you know, and it's almost you see that it starts with country folk, if you like country songs with meanings, then it turns into country rock, then it turns into rock, and then it gets harder and harder through metal to something totally different. And at that point, you, you know, you don't know what's going to happen from hip hop to whatever. But then, much like it's happening now, guess what? The songs come back. And now it goes back to country. And if you look, there's a whole renaissance in the whole country area. And you really now can't really differentiate between pop and country and rock. It's, it's music. And that's what I, I say to a lot of people now. The, the whole genre thing is, guess what music this is? It's a, a really diffuse line there now. It's music. Mm. Uh, it, it's to put it into a, a, a column is very tough now. Yeah. So, so what music is your favorite? I mean, that's where it can't, you know, that's part of the whole thing. I mean, I love Billie Eilish. I love, I go back to, obviously I love the old music, Glenn Miller. I mean, it's so wide and I love people that do things with that old stuff. There was a, a band um, that did all the Glenn Miller songs in rock, and almost hip hop, which is fantastic. And so it, it's, again, it's just be, I like people being creative. I don't like people, it happens a lot, you know, with, with the, the, um, the sampling and everything. They try and sound like someone else. And, and that's very sad. I mean, I'd rather it be a really average record, but really unique than something, okay, yeah, it sounds like a hit. What does a hit sound like? You, you don't know until yeah. you put it out there. And to me, if you're copying the vocal work and everything else, you know, if you get a hit, it's fine, but it's not really your hit because you just copied the sound of the moment. Right. And, oh, and I see that, that happening an awful lot as well. Mm. My, my son's got a single out right now, which is like, it, it's... Uh, it's in, in, what's it called? It's, it's an industrial type sound. And, and a lot of people love that type of stuff, but you know, it's, it amazes me when I hear what he can play and what he can do, if you like, with melodies and stuff. And then you hear something that isn't. So it, it's, uh, I just like people doing whatever they want to do. But it, the secret, I think, is they have to believe in what they're doing. Mm. You can always tell the difference from someone just singing a song to someone really singing a song where they're thinking about what they're singing and they're putting feeling, whether it's rock or whatever, it's that emotion, you can't really hide that. Yeah. There's this song by Martina McBride, Do It Anyway. And right. there's this recording of her singing it. And it's just like this, this force went through the audience that she was feeling what she was singing. Like people will let you down, life will hurt love will get spat back in your face but do it anyway and everyone was just silent and just awe from how much she poured out that's just don't you just live for those kind of moments yeah and I think you know something it's really cathartic for the artist and for the singer they getting something out there and I think it's good for a lot of young artists and you know they've got these things deep inside them which are troubling them maybe get it out 
And, uh, you know, I know quite a few um, that, have, that have had terrible things happen in their lives and they've got over it when they've thought about it through music. Yes, that ended abruptly on purpose. I hope I left you hungry for more because you can listen slash watch the rest of the conversation tomorrow. There's 20 more minutes so you can skip right to where we left off. I hope that this method works for you all right. Let me know and thanks again for watching.